For those who are bullish on which context logic stock and also for those who are bullish in the other uh, e-commerce stocks, uh, I wanted to prepare this video where I am sharing what is the situation with the main e-commerce ETF uh, that we have available to try to use them as a benchmark to understand what might be the next uh, move from this um, industry in terms of stock market behind the trade here welcome back to my channel if you enjoyed this video and my other videos please do not forget to subscribe by clicking the button at the bottom right part of the screen this video is uh, subtitled in more than 10 languages and is based on a pure 100 percent technical analysis approach as usual quick disclaimer i'm not financial advisor and these are not financial advices so do your own study and evaluation before uh, taking any investment decision so guys i have in this screen two windows on the right part we have the i buy etf which is the amplify online retail etf while sorry on the right part while on the uh, left part we have the eweb etf which is the global emerging markets internet and e-commerce etf so can we understand something about the uh, trend of the e-commerce uh, industry in the stock market from these two ETFs? Yes, I think so. First of all, if we look at the EWEB here on the uh, left part of the screen, we see that in the weekly chart, this chart is absolutely similar to the WISH one is absolutely the same okay so we know that initially when this etf was introduced in november 20 um, we had these volumes here so it was pretty interesting to investors and especially on the week of february 20 uh, february 8 of 21 we had this weekly candle here with big volumes meaning that there were still i mean there was still interest on this etf then uh, a decrease started but i have to mention that the decrease started with a decrease in volume as well this is very important so this decrease of these recent months in the e-commerce atf that we are analyzing now the eweb um, was a decrease with no significant strength in um, in decreasing volume okay in in bearish volumes now what happened in at the end of december we had this increase here in volumes with these candles here which kind of anticipated a possible reversal of the atf and therefore in my opinion of the e-commerce industry okay so take this into consideration when you evaluate uh, whether to be bullish or bearish on which context logic because it's pretty clear to me that the industry is pretty hot that there is interest in, interest in the industry and that this decrease here happened with low volume so is it relevant to me no to me personally this decrease here is not relevant so look at this chart here and look at the WIS chart and look how similar they are in the weekly time frame as also in the daily time frame so this is the very first thing i wanted to tell you uh, the second thing is let's analyze the i buy instead it's a bit different here so the chart in the weekly chart it's uh, the the development is different but just because this one started before november 20 okay so if we consider the movement of this ATF from November 20th, it would start from here, from this moment, and this would be again very similar to the um, EWEB ATF and similar to the WISH one. Okay, so let's con consider this. Now, what are we seeing with this ATF in the weekly chart? First of all, we are seeing that the week of January 24th had this weekly candle here which was uh, almost a doji or sp spinning spinning candle indecision candle um, with big volumes meaning that the market was kind of taking a pause here probably this leg down is almost going to um to stop and to reverse now we have to consider looking at this atf that we have this important support line here which is given by these highs and this high so it might be it might be possible that this atf will probably go down to 60 dollars to re to to pull back here to retest this support level um but it also might not okay in my opinion it's highly possible that he will not be doing this um additional 
down leg. Um, we are very close, actually, we are far beyond the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level uh, of this up leg here. So this up leg here was retraced of 61.8%. And so this support level here, that where we are now, is pretty delicate. It's not. It will not be easy to go even farther down. Okay. So I'm not analyzing this to invite anybody to invest in the e-commerce ETFs that I'm mentioning. I'm just sharing this with you just to show you that, as also for Wish. And if you haven't seen my videos, please go there. Uh, they are in the link here in, in the description link. Um, the ATFs about the e-commerce are all in a moment of possible reversal season. And this will be somehow also um, give benefit to all the e-commerce stocks like uh, uh, Wish as an example. And we should consider this. So never look just at the stock as a single stock with, uh, without looking at the broader picture. Okay? Take a look at what's happening around in the industry and how are the ATF behaving in this sense. I really hope this video was helpful for you and uh, I really look forward to meeting you again in my channel. Have a great day and weekend.